Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 tutorial. Today we are going to be teaching you how to install Roads of Europe. What Roads of Europe does, it changes the road textures throughout the entire map and it's absolutely amazing. Now there's two different downloads for this one. Now you have the one right here where you're seeing on the main picture where the road just looks amazing. The black, it just looks so good. It looks clean. I love it like that. Now there is another download that's part of this, which is the newest download and it looks like this. So I took a picture to show you the difference between the two. So you have this one right here that, I mean, it does make it look a lot brighter and everything like that. And the roads do look clean, but me personally, I like this one right here. It looks amazing. So you guys get to make the choice of which one you want to uh, download. We're going to go ahead and download the old one. And if you guys want the new one, that's right here. Again, it looks just like these roads right here. That's what it looks like. So you got to make the decision of which one you want because either way that you go is still going to be the same way of downloading and installing. So if you guys do want the new one, which is the picture that I just showed you, which is right here. Let me go ahead and pull this up again. So if you want this one, it's the new one. If you want the old one, which is this picture right here. You're going to want to download the old one. Okay. So I'm going to go with the old one because I absolutely love the look of that. That just looks amazing. And if you guys want to download the new one, just go ahead and click here. Okay. I'm going to click the down, download the old one and we're going to click right here and download this. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let that download. We're going to hit open file. Once you get inside here, you guys are going to see that it has a readme in here. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and open up open four. So go to open IV. Going to open that up. You're going to go here, go Grand Theft Auto 5, hit Windows, and go ahead and let that open up. If you guys do not have Open IV, I do have a tutorial to show you how to install Open IV, and uh, you are going to need that to be able to install this. So, what we're going to do is hit Edit Mode up at the top. We're going to click Yes. We're going to go into our Mods folder, Update, X64, DLC Packs, and we're going to stay right here. So, now, Roads of Europe, we have it where the download gives us this README. So, what we're going to do is go inside the README. We're going to go up here where it says single player. Yes, you can use this for 5M. I have a tutorial for that also, um, but we're going to go to single player and we are going to go ahead and highlight this right here. Right click, click copy. Okay, and then we're going to go to the top. We're going to right click, click paste and hit enter. So as soon as you get in here, it should take you to this page right here and it'll let you know um, the one that you want to download. So you can see right here, we're going to go ahead and click download on this one. So I'm going to click download right here, this little down button. I'm going to click that and we're going to go ahead and download that. So I'm going to go ahead and again, you see, I already have it downloaded. Uh, I've used it plenty of times, but we're showing you how to use it. So you get inside your game. So we're going to open this up as soon as it is done. Um, but we have, make sure you guys have it open for, and what we are going to do is go ahead and let that download real fast. All right, it is done downloading. So what we are going to do is going to pull it up right here. We're going to look inside this folder. So you see the Roads of Europe folder? You're going to click in there. You'll see DLC.RPF. That's exactly what you want to see. So we're going to go back, and we're going to go back to the main folder. So what we're going to do is take Roads of Europe, drag and drop into our open fork. Again, make sure you guys are GTA V, Mods, Update, X64, DLC Packs. This is where you want to be. Make sure you're not clicked on any of the folders. Click over here to the side, and make sure Edit Mode is on. So what we're going to do is take this Roads of Europe folder, drag and drop into our open fort. Just like that, it is now installing and you should see it in here. So you should see that folder in there. So now what you want to do is you want to go back. So you're, I'm just going to go to GTA V up here at the top. Let me enlarge this. GTA V up at the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our mods folder, our update folder, update.rpf folder. We're going to go common data and we are going to go down here to dlc list.xml click edit what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom you're going to go to this download again and you're going to go to the readme here and what you want to do is just copy this right here exactly how i have it go in and copy it right click click copy and what we are going to do is go right here to the end and you'll see right here where my cursor is. What you want to do is hit enter just like that and then hit right click, 
click paste and you'll see roads over here up in there make sure this over here to the left is all lined up it does not matter to the right and make sure that paths is right below so if i hit enter you'll see paths right there is not below so it is not working so what you want to do is just hit backspace and just make sure paths is down there below right below the last line so what we're going to do is hit save and now we're going to jump inside GTA 5 and let y'all see the new road textures that you have inside your game. So let's jump over to GTA 5. All right. So now that we're inside GTA 5, you guys have this in your game. You don't have to load anything up. But we are in the middle of Sandy Shores. And just look at the roads out here. They just look absolutely amazing. Again, this is only a road texture. It doesn't add anything else. It doesn't, in my opinion, does not affect FPS. And not much at all, if anything. And uh, I think it actually looks really, really good. It makes my game look good. And every time I stream, people ask me, they're like, what road mod are you using? And this is it. This is it, guys. So let's head over to another location and show you Polito. All right, we are now in Polito, and you can just take a look around. Look at the roads. You got the lines right here that look like they were just freshly painted. And the highway looks amazing over here. So you can see the highway right there. The road textures are through the entire map. So we're gonna head over to another location. Look at the double yellow lines. They look like they were freshly painted too. They look really good. It looks like all the lines with inside the game are, they just literally look like they were just freshly painted. Could you imagine a, just a state doing this through their entire state? How much better it would make it look, especially here in Ohio where I live. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go ahead over to another location. All right, let's take a look in the city right here so you see the crosswalks look different all the lines are freshly painted the roads look amazing and then you also have the parking lots that will look different for you too so they look like they just been freshly paved the lines are all painted all that good stuff so you guys now have roads of europe inside your game you are not driving on the left hand side of the road if that was a question that y'all were going to ask you can see all traffic is driving correctly um, so thank you all for coming by and watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed this and we'll see you all on the next one. If you do me that one favor, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. That would be amazing. Love to get to 100,000 subscribers and y'all can help me do it. So hit that subscribe button, please. And thank you. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.